G'day guys and welcome back to another video on the channel and in today's video I'm going to be answering your guys questions that I asked on my Instagram over the past three weeks or so. Um, so yeah, we've got around I think nearly 40 responses So thank you for everyone that chipped in a question on my Instagram story If you haven't already make sure to go follow my Instagram It'll be on the screen now if you haven't already we sometimes go live on there uh, a bit of behind the scenes of YouTube and stuff like that Also, you can see and stay up to date with stuff outside of YouTube So make sure to go follow my Instagram and also if you do follow the Instagram you can also be involved in in similar videos like this into the future. So without further ado, we'll get straight into the video. So the first question we have here is from Football Sirens. He has asked, second favorite AFL venue? Uh, my second favorite AFL venue would probably have to be the MCG, followed by Marvel Stadium. Now, a bit of an odd choice. A lot of people who live in Vic, like myself, probably prefer the MCG over Marvel, but I'm a bit of a different character. I don't mind Marvel at all, and I probably do like it more than the MCG. So for this question, I'm going to say the MCG is my second favourite AFL ground. Next question also from Football Sirens. It is favourite AFL siren. Um, my favourite AFL siren, I'll probably have to go Marvel as well. It's just a unique siren, different to everything else. Um, yeah, just the atmosphere inside Marvel Stadium is really good. And the siren echoes so much, obviously, when the roof's shut. I love the Marvel Stadium set siren. It's probably a bit louder than some of the other ones as well. Uh, but yeah, favourite AFL siren, Marvel Stadium as well. Moving on to question number three. We have plans and goals for 2022. And five people suggested this one. So plans and goals for 2022 inside of YouTube. We'll start off small. I'm going to say aim for 5k subs at least. And then if we hit the 5k milestone, we'll go up. But we just got to wait for the AFL content to get kicking back in, uh, yeah, for the channel to start growing a little bit more because obviously AFL channel, I'll start growing a bit more, um, yeah, when the AFL season does get underway. So plans and goals for 2022, gonna start off 5K subs and then when we get past there, we'll make a new milestone. Ado Bado has said, will you make any other videos than footy in 2022? Well, this one certainly isn't um, directly a footy video and we always do uh, switch up the content a little bit even in the footy season. There's always maybe like one video every two weeks that just isn't footy related and still being the cricket season there could still be some cricket uploads uh, yeah, before the footy gets back underway. Ben Smith 47 asks enjoying the new house. The new house is good. The new setup is good. Just got a new desk a few days ago and that's going really well. Got a new chair. Really comfortable. So yeah really fitting, fitting into the new house quite well. And yeah, don't mind it at all. And I'm pretty sure this is Harry Vanderpleet says, how tall are you? Um, I feel like a lot of people want to know this question because obviously I've said a lot of times, if you have been watching the channel, obviously I've said a lot of times that I am too small, but I've definitely grown a lot since last year because every time I see someone that I haven't seen in a while, they're always like, oh mate, you're getting bigger. But yeah, I am, I think around 169 to 170 centimeters around that mark. Next question, what was your least favorite video to make in 2021? Very interesting uh, question, a bit, bit different to the others. Um, I'd probably have to say just either maybe one of the coach careers or one of the tipping videos because they're just the same thing every week really. You just have to put together the same graphics every single week and it does get quite boring after a bit but you kind of have to yeah, keep the trend going every week with doing the same video so I'm probably going to have to say either an AFL tipping video or one of the coach grades that I filmed. And also from Zach is asked, what was the hardest video to edit ever? Uh, the hard hardest video to edit ever, probably a video from last year in 2021, just because that's when my channel was probably at peak. Um, and I'd probably have to say one of the goal kicking challenges, uh, probably the one with Cardi, Jordy, and Sammy as well. Probably that one was the hardest to edit, as you can see with the graphics. They were pretty good, probably the best graphics I've had in a Gulking Challenge ever. So I'll probably have to say that one for the hardest video to edit ever. Luke McMahon, 505 has asked, where do you think Frio will be on the ladder this year and will you go to many AFLW games? I've been to one AFLW game uh, this season already and I will plan to go to a few more because it is actually not too bad, uh, the AFLW. I don't mind, there's a lot of activities to do there and it's quite fun as well. Um, but where do I think Frio will finish on the ladder this year? Hopefully inside the eight, 
Uh, but I'm, if I'm going to give my genuine prediction, uh, we've got some really good up and coming players. I reckon we'll finish around 7th to 9th, or maybe, yeah, 7th to 10th actually. Mr. Saints fan says, when's the next video? Well, uh, well, this question is inside this video, so obviously it's going to be this video by the time you're seeing it. So, strange question, but I guess this video will be the next video you see. Bunning snags or Coles mud cakes? Um... I would say it's hard to go past the Bunning Snags. I haven't had Bunning Snags in, while, in a while just because it's not really a Bunnings near me. Um, but yeah, Bunning Snags can't really get better than that. Mud Cakes, still good, but I just don't think they're as good as the Snags, I reckon. Nico06 underscore 08 has asked, favourite BBL players of all time? I think there's one really hard to go past, and that is Kevin Peterson. Obviously, being a Stars fan myself, every week, he used, to, he used to just put on a show for everybody. And I went to his last game, I'm pretty sure he made, I think, 47, if my memory is accurate. I think he made 47 off his last, yeah, off his last game. So, Kevin Peterson used to put on a performance every week. He was really entertaining and probably one of the best players in the league when he was playing. Xavier.Brownie has asked, since you do gym, what's harder being stronger or be able to run fast slash far? Uh, well, it's really depending on what you trained. If you're hitting the gym every day and don't go for runs, obviously the gym's going to be the easier choice for yourself. But if you go for runs instead of hitting the gym, then obviously running's going to be easier. So it all depends on really what you do, how your genetics form, and stuff like that. But, but for myself, um, I'm not the best at running. However, I still uh, try and go for runs just to keep fit. Uh, but probably gym is a little bit easier for me um, in terms of comparing the two. Kev's Magpies has asked, what's the best win that you ever witnessed Fremantle play? Now, I did go to the Dave and Mundy kick after the siren goal in 2017 versus Richmond. That is definitely up there. However, I think I'm going to have to go in the 2020 season, Frio versus St Kilda, where we were down by about seven to eight goals in the first term, and we bring it back and won by six points. So I'd probably have to say that is the best I've ever seen Frio play. Do you think that Frio will make the top eight this year? Um, similar question to what I answered before. I think we probably have the players to do so, but I just, we've had the players to do so for the past couple of years, and we just haven't really played to our expectations, and we just get lazy on the field. We just don't seem to finish off the games. We play really good three quarters of footy, and then the last term, we kick like two behinds, and that's it. I reckon we could have a shout at playing top eight footy. Zach has asked another one, what was your hardest video to edit in 2021? Uh, well, it would have to be, yeah, the Goal King Challenge, as I mentioned before. That was probably the hardest video to edit ever, unless there's, there is probably one video um, that I can't really think of off the top of my head right now that was probably a bit more difficult to edit than that Goal King Challenge. But off the top of my head, I'm going to have to say, yeah, the Goal King Challenge from 2021. Fergus Riemann says, why did you start doing YouTube? Uh, well, I started off, for those who didn't know, I actually started off doing YouTube around like late 2017. I remember one day I was literally just watching the VFL, the VFL Grand Final in 2017. I was just, and I didn't know how to upload videos. And I just clicked on some random button. I was like, oh wow, look at this. I can upload content. I didn't know how to do it. So I just randomly kicked clicked a button and the first video I filmed was like me doing a front flip on the trampoline and obviously everyone's first video is very very low quality and I just put some random music over the top of it only OGs will remember that one I don't even think many people that watch my channel nowadays would remember that because that's late 2017 I would have been in what like grade five then so uh, that's my first video I uploaded and I just I just started doing YouTube because all the YouTubers I used to watch a lot of YouTube back in the day so I just really wanted to yeah try it out for myself and here we are today Fergus has also asked why do you support Frio wow what a question now obviously whenever somebody asks me this in like a live stream or something I usually just say I'm I was born in Perth that's the reason I go for the Dockers well that's not the reason I go for Freo. I actually started off being a Collingwood supporter. I'm pretty sure I started following footy pretty early into my childhood. Um, I think maybe I was around two or three when I started sporting footy. And I went for Collingwood because my family uh, went for them. Most of my family went for them. So I went for the Pies. Um, didn't Wasn't really too passionate for Collingwood, obviously, because I was quite a young age. I didn't really care about footy as much as I do today. Uh, but then when I was, I think, around... Uh, maybe five, uh, maybe yeah, five years old. I went to the Melbourne show 
and I saw a show bag and the one time um, Melbourne selling interstate teams like show bags it was Frio because they were finally doing well in a season back in 2013 yeah so they were selling Frio show bags I purchased a show bag just randomly a Frio show bag I went home showed dad and I'm like look at this epic show bag I got and then that is that's how I started going for Frio I bought a show bag from the Melbourne show Josh Stokes has asked do you have a pet yes I do have a pet his name is Ollie Ado Bado says dream job now I'll probably have to say what I'm doing right now being a YouTuber is your dream job would just be really cool just sitting down filming videos filming content for a pretty large audience if you were to do it full time uh, but yeah dream job probably YouTube Luca has asked favorite soccer team now a bit of an interesting question um, if we're talking about the A League I go for Melbourne City not too passionately at all so yeah I go for Melbourne City and if we're talking about Premier League I go for Man City so both the city sides Power Kelly has asked AFL predictions now I won't be answering it in this uh, video because I will have an early 2022 season predictions video out probably around in the next week Thomas Green says are oh, Thunder good in the BBL they have been very good this year uh, this season in the B in the Big Bash uh, they've only just got their streak cut off by I think it was the Hurricanes or something the other day that they versed. They, uh, I think, were coming off a very big game-winning streak and they just got cut off. So, Thunder, yeah, doing really well this year. Lockie Miller says, will Geelong make top four this year? Um, in my opinion, yes. But if you want further, like, further detail on that question, make sure to, yeah, check out the season predictions video when it is out. Archer, the AJ45, says, favourite YouTube channel that's not yours? I'll definitely have to go Cardi's just his quality of content is just through the roof he entertains he is, always finds an ent entertaining way just to do something that wouldn't be entertaining in the first place so yeah Cardi 100% Zach has asked another question what was the favorite video you made in 2021 he loves the video uh, the video questions favorite video to make in 2021 it would probably have to be the goalkeeping challenge as well goalkeeping challenges are so fun especially just doing anything sort of like outside AFL challenges and things like that. They are really fun to film. Zach has also asked how fun is YouTube. At the moment, the views are starting to creep back up. Um, obviously, off-season is not too great in terms of views, but the views are slowly starting to rise back up, which is really good sign to see. Uh, and at the moment, YouTube, I'm really enjoying doing YouTube because the support's coming through a lot, especially for off-season. Views are rising and everything should be going well in the next couple of months. Harry has also asked, are you doing 30 days of fitness? I didn't compete in the December challenge that Druzy did. However, I still hit the gym pretty consistently. Uh, but no, I don't hit the gym like every single day because I have. To, I do take rest days. Lucas says, get a mohawk. Um... Unfortunately, I don't think that is going to happen, Luca. Benno1721 says you should do a video where you go to as many BBL games in one week. The season is coming to an end pretty shortly in the BBL, but not a bad idea, and it could be pretty fun, so we'll see. We'll see what happens in the next few years of Big Bash. Orlando Chink says if you were to support any team except for Collingwood and Frio, I would have to say the dogs just because they are, yeah, well, a lot of my family go for them. And obviously being a Freer supporter, you don't see many games in Melbourne or in Victoria in general. Um, and I probably do visit the Bulldogs games uh, probably more than any other team in the league just because my family go for them and my Nana's membership. So I can pretty much go to any game on any weekend if I wanted to for the dogs. Mitchy Reese and Ned Davo both ask, do you have any tips for for a beginner starting YouTube. I uh, probably just have to say get consistent with your uploads. Make sure to stay consistent. Don't just upload once and just take a two month break. But yeah, just make sure to upload maybe like once every week or something if you want to start off a little bit slower than usual. And make sure to spread the word. So make sure if you're promoting it, make sure to put it on your Instagram story. Make sure to tell your mates. Yeah, just make sure to spread it around uh, one way or another or another. Jason57 says, what are the future goals of your channel? Would you like to collab with the AFL? Collabing with the AFL would be a huge, huge milestone and a, f a huge goal uh, if that could happen in the future. Um, but yeah, future goals, as I said earlier, probably just start off with 5k subs and go on uh, until we hit that milestone. Thank you all so much for watching today's video. If you did enjoy, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Once again, follow my Instagram if you want to be involved in videos like this in the future. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe and I'll see you all in my next video.